Hello everyone, I'm Carlos and I'm Late Sauce, and this is part 3 of the My Hero Academia What If series, What If All For One and All Might Swap Places. A couple of days after the USJ incident, Aizawa notified the students about the sports festival and how they should get ready for it. Those couple of days that passed, Aizawa began having special training classes with Midoriya and teaching him his own fighting technique. Aizawa tells him that later on he will give Midoriya his capturing scarf that he has. Midoriya also trains with All for One during those days, and All for One is impressed with Midoriya's improvements in his fighting technique and handling the quirk counter impact. Midoriya keeps on training with both of them until the sports festival finally arrives. He is less nervous and more excited to test out his strength against the others. He remembers what All for One told him about the sports festival. They had a talk, and All for One said that his festival will be the best time to show off himself and to show the world that he'll be the number one hero. All the first years gets on the field, and Midori is having to make the speech. The crowd cheers for him because of the news that Midori fought All Might all by himself. The first test is the race around the dome, and it will end up the same with Midori in first place. The second test will be the horse race, and Midori's team will be completely different. He will be thinking on who to pick when Uraraka goes up to him and says that she would like to join his team. Midori will get all blushy and say yes. Then Kirishima will walk up to Midori and ask him to join his team, and this shocks Midori, and he asks Kirishima why. Kirishima says that he thinks Midori is manly after seeing him fight against the biggest villain. Midori is flattered and ends up letting him join his team. Then Midori is left with one spot and Mei Hatsume says that she wants to join his team and she forces herself into his group so Midori has to say yes. So since Kirishima isn't in Bakugo's group, his role was replaced with Tokoyami. Before the two parts starts, Midori asks Kirishima to punch him a couple of times and Kirishima asks why and then Midori explains his quirk so then Kirishima does. After the punches, Midori feels the pain fade away and knows the healing quirk works well. The next test starts and the team starts moving, but most of the team are avoiding Midori's team. And Midori is confused, but Mei explains that everyone is scared of him since he was able to fight off a villain that most pro heroes can't. Then, by the corner of Midori's eye, he sees Bakugo rushing at them, and he tells everyone to be ready instead of running away. Midori runs toward Bakugo's team. Bakugo shoots a big explosion that mainly hits Midori. His team is worried about him, but when the smoke clears out, Midori has no scratches or wounds on him, and it seems like he wasn't phased by the attack at all. This shocks Bakugo and makes him even more angry, and gets ready to attack again, but then a big wall of ice blocks him. Todoroki and his team make a wall around him and Midori's team. Todoroki goes off for an attack, and Midori acts quickly and thinks now he can protect his headband. Todoroki reaches out to grab their headband. Midori knows this will hurt, but it's the only option he has. He extends his arm and grabs onto Todoroki's arm and his hand is freezing and Toroki calls him crazy, but Deku doesn't let go until the time runs out. The winners are Team Midori in first, then Toroki in second, Team Shinzo in third, and then Bakugo in fourth. Midori's arm is purple and cold to the brim, and he goes to the nurse's office. She doesn't heal him since she's one of the few who knows the secret about Midori, and he completely heals, and he is ready for the final part of the festival. The matchups are the same as in canon. Midori's first fight with Shinzo goes differently when Ojiro tells Midori about Shinzo's quirk. Midori makes sure that he keeps his mouth shut. Deku easily knocks out Shinzo without saying a word, and as soon as the match is over, Midori apologizes to Shinzo, but he has to win this. Midori's next match will be against Todoroki. The fight will go the same, but Midori isn't getting hurt by his own attack. They have the same talks, and Todoroki activates his fireside, and the fight begins. Midori quickly moves behind Todoroki and uses counter impact to kick him which pushes Toroki back and Midori moves so fast and slams Toroki into the floor and knocks out Toroki. In the crowd, people are cheering for Midori. Class 1A wonders why Midori didn't get into UA recommendation and in the crowd, Endeavor storms off angrily about this. Then Midori wouldn't fight Ida since he has left for family problems and Midori vs Bakugo will be the final fight. Midori stares at Bakugo and this angers him and as soon as the fight begins, Bakugo charges at Midori and hits him with his full blast and continues to fire and this shocks everyone, and their classmates think that he's going too far. When the smoke's clear, Midori is standing without any scratches again, and Bakugo is completely frozen on why Midori isn't hurt. Midori goes at Bakugo and punches him, and this makes Bakugo react, and he grabs Midori's arm, and he just starts blasting, but his explosion does nothing, Midori just knocks out Bakugo. He feels bad for Bakugo, and he picks him up and lays him down so the nurses can take care of his injuries. Midori then lifts his arm and screams out that he will become the number one hero and save everyone. As soon as he said that, All Might lands right behind them with a look of complete anger. Midori turns and quickly bounces away from All Might to get some distance between him and All Might. 
The crowd starts to panic, and also Class 1A is worried for Midoriya. All for one tries to jump in to save Midoriya, but his migraines and head injuries start hurting him, and he can hardly move without his regeneration quirk, his injuries would come at him more. Some pro heroes try to jump All Might, but without a second thought, he swipes them all with ease. Midoriya knows he's all alone for this, and All Might tells Midoriya that he will pay for making a mockery of the biggest villain. He then gives an uppercut to Midoriya that sends him flying into the air. Midoriya feels the pain go away slowly, but then he realizes that All Might just charged up his quirk. Midoriya then blasted himself towards All Might without hesitation and without fear. Everyone thinks he's crazy and his classmates yell at him to run away, but Midoriya does not stop. All Might charges at him before they collide. Midoriya uses a bit of counter impact to move over him. Midoriya grabs on All Might's too big hair that stands up and he uses its quirk to throw All Might and then he uses a kick to push him all the way deeper into the ground. Midoriya then quickly hurts himself to charge up his quirk. All Might gets up slowly and he starts to power up. The pressure All Might is causing is huge and the crowd can barely hold against it. Midoriya tries to stand his ground and tells All Might that he won't run away. All Might calls him stupid and punches Midoriya that sends him flying back. Midoriya gets up and wipes the blood off his mouth and he feels his body healing. He gets prepared to fight but then Endeavor gets in front of him and he says that he will handle this. All Might tells Endeavor to get out of the way that he doesn't want to deal with him now. Endeavor gets angry and goes to fight All Might and they start to brawl. Pro Heroes tries to get Midori to save him but Midori pushes them away and tells them that he is fine. The Pro Heroes realize that Midori took two of All Might's punches and he's in phase or doesn't even seem to be hurt. Midori sees All Might and Endeavor having a power struggle, and Midori uses his chance to run up to All Might and use all of his stored up power and punches All Might right in the stomach, and he keeps on punching him into the wall. He finally stops and falls back. All Might gets up and says that he is impressed with only a kid having this power to damage him. Midori is shocked that it wasn't enough and he doesn't have any more power stocked up. All Might says that it is a shame that he has to kill a kid with such an amazing power. Midori is still standing his ground with a stare of determination, All Might prepares to attack but then All for One tells him to stop. All for One offers a deal to All Might. He tells All Might if he spares Midoriya he will fight to a battle to the death later on. All Might thinks about this deal and he ends up taking it, and everyone's completely shocked. Midori screamed no and told All for One to stop but it was too late and All Might takes off and leaves while everyone in the stadium stays silent due to the closing of this unique sports festival. Well everyone, that's really of this part of this Mario Academia What If series. We hope you enjoyed it and we're going to work on the next part as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.